Join me on the dark side. AKA East Pattaya, an almost a different city entirely. Where expats and Thais live side by side. In the night time we'll be checking out some amazing and unusual bars. As well as some fabulous restaurants and other interesting places to visit. Welcome, this is that big road you see when you come into the fair. It splits the Pattaya literally into halves. This is uh, Sigamit Road and on the right hand side then that down there is the main city of Pattaya. On the left hand side it mostly is what we call the dark side. And so to get there you go east from the main Pattaya city, over the main Sigovic road and then over the railway line. Then you are in what is known as the dark side or East Pattaya. Most of the community that lives here either lives in condos or in walled villages with townhouses and bungalows. But as you look around there are some really really fabulous houses to be found as well. So, as we turn into Soi Khao Noi, we uh, come across the Chill. It's a shopping centre that contains quite a large top supermarket that's got its own restaurant and the like, and it's the perfect place to meet up with your friends. If you're coming by taxi, just tell your driver to come to Soi Khao Noi, the Chill and the top supermarket. So the plan is now to take you for a ride on my bike to the other side of the dark side or East Pattaya. Uh, yes, I do have a plan. Don't forget your crash helmet or it's a 400 bar fine. It is quite a long way to go, so sit back and uh, enjoy the journey. And we'll speed it up a little bit with the aid of YouTube technology. Just coming up to and about to cross Soe Nguyen Club 1. This is a very long and very busy Soe. By Soe I basically mean street. Just up there are a couple of very nice bars. In fact there are one or two bars in this street. Actually one of my favourite bars is here. So we'll pop back after dark and have a look. Soy Siam Country Club. Uh, another, another very busy and very, very long soy. Hi guys, here we are in uh, the top end of Soy Siam Country Club and we're at the big beautiful lake that's there and uh, it's really really nice up here. I'm going to go give you a bit of a show round. Yeah, no, it really is a lovely lake and uh, it does have all sorts of things going on. This time of the evening we've got lots of cyclists, we've got lots of walkers and we've got quite a few dogs looking for their dinner and I just hope they don't think I'm their dinner. I'm certainly getting fat enough, so, but I really hope not. So let's go and have a look and see what we can find, okay?
I agree. I hope you have something I'm good for dinner. It's a lovely chill place. We're going up the road again. The reason why it's called Soy CM Country Club is uh, the uh, golf course up the very far end is the uh, Country Club, which is where all the big posh golf matches are played. Um, but as I say, on the way here, you get this uh, beautiful lake. There's all sorts of places up here. There's a few bars, there's a few places where you can buy yourself a house if you want, but I guess they'd be very expensive. And you're basically right on the edge of what they call the dark side. So. Uh, we're just on the fringes, so uh, I'm just going to leave it here for the moment and move on to uh, wherever I'm going to next, okay? See you there in a minute, okay? The price for gas or petrol, whatever you like to call it, for my little motorbike comes out at about 38 baht a litre, which is quite reasonable really. MC is 84, and, uh, 84 bar to fill up my bike again, uh, pretty good I think. Empty to full usually comes in about 120 bar normally. down Soisiam Country Club we come across one of the biggest markets in East Pattaya if it's not one of the biggest markets in Pattaya altogether it has a wide variety of uh, meat, fish, poultry and seafood as well as a massive selection of fruit and veg some of the things I've, uh, I've never ever seen before Yeah. 
All those bugs are making me feel hungry. This place is an Isan or Northern Thai food restaurant and it's situated right next to the Chield in Soi Khao Noi. Deep fried fish, beans with chilies and somptum are a speciality. Somptum is made from shredded papaya and is uh, really, really spicy. You'll find many, many different types of restaurant over on the dark side. Everything from Western food to Thai, of course, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, you name it, uh, it's here. Talking of Chinese food, there's this fabulous restaurant on the top of the hill. You can see it from miles away. It's well worth going to the restaurant to check out the views. With the main city in the background, you can see why they call this area the dark side. Back to Soi Kaonoi now, where to visit one of my favourite restaurants. It's called Maisie's. The restaurant has its own unique take on Thai and Western food. Uh, it's pretty tasty and represents uh, good value. Enjoy. Okay, thank you. I was going to save you some, but you didn't. So now it's time to go and explore some of the nightlife on the dark side. We start off in the Tartar Bar, a good place to begin in and uh, finish your evening. Situated in the centre of Kaunoi, it's a great place to meet up with your friends. We start off at the far end of Soi Kautalo, uh, where there are uh, quite a few little bars here. They are all very entertaining. A lot of them are closed doors, so you can't easily see inside, but uh, I can assure you they can be quite entertaining and good fun. One of the popular bars here is the Samoan Bar. It's a big, wide, open bar. It does uh, reasonably cheap food and reasonably cheap beer. Uh, and on top of that, the staff are also pretty friendly. The Booze Lounge on Soy Cautolo, well worth a visit. Pretty near opposite the Booze Lounge is the Corner Bar. And uh, lucky's in, because tonight it yeah. looks like they're having a party. I did get an invite, but uh, most parties in bars in Thailand, certainly everybody's welcome. So if you see the balloons outside, do pop in, as long as you buy yourself a beer, the food is usually free. A great little bar with a creative name is the Horn Pub, and you'll find it on Nurn Pub 1. I found it a really friendly little bar with some uh, really, really nice uh, English food. It's also very famous for its home delivery pizzas. Quite a lot of the bars over on the dark side are tucked away down in little side streets and the like, so it's well worth and quite fun trying to seek them out. While you're at it, why not check out some of the Thai bars? Uh, they're quite interesting and they're much more friendly than you might imagine.
I would just like to say that uh, none of the bars featured in this video have uh, paid me anything at all to get a mention. Uh, I do it because I like the bar. They've not even given me a free chip. If you want to know more about the dark side, whether you want to come here or just come and visit for fun, do check out our previous video on it, the dark side, which contains a whole lot more. So this is Swin saying goodbye, I hope I see you again soon, so bye bye for now. And please check out our other videos.